there is a looming humanitarian crisis unfolding in front of our eyes. The United Nations Refugee Agency is warning Afghanistan is on the brink of a humanitarian catastrophe as the Taliban make territorial gains. The agency says hundreds of thousands of Afghans have been displaced from their homes since January by an upsurge in violence, bringing the total uprooted population to over 3.5 million. The worry is if this conflict does not stop, we will see more human suffering. Reuters reports Taliban fighters have advanced toward three major cities in recent days. The Afghan president blamed the worsening security situation on the United States withdrawing troops. Since U.S. and international forces started leaving in May, the Taliban have seized around half of the country's 400 districts. But the Afghan government says it has a plan to bring the situation under control within six months. They stood with us. We will stand with them. The Biden administration announced it will expand refugee eligibility for Afghans who worked with the U.S. during two decades of war but do not qualify for special immigrant visas. A great deal of hard work has gone into this already, but even more lies ahead. There is a significant diplomatic, logistical and bureaucratic challenge. We take our responsibility to our Afghan partners deeply seriously. Canada has also come under pressure to resettle Afghan allies and their families, whose lives are in danger from the Taliban. A spokesperson for Canada's immigration minister says in a statement to City News, operational teams are currently on the ground in Afghanistan and the work is well underway. To protect the privacy and safety of all involved, we are not able to disclose how and when they will be welcomed to Canada. We will continue to work as quickly as possible. The UN says a failure to reach a peace agreement in Afghanistan will see further displacement. We want a normal life just like everyone else, says this woman who fled her home to escape the fighting. I want my children to become something in Afghanistan. That is my hope. Karen Siolin, City News.